next. Tragedy strikes. Accidents happen. Be there when the calls come in. It's back-to-back -back episodes of Rescue 911. Next on Discovery Health Channel. Today on Rescue 911, a courageous dog saves a child. She was a hero. Now rescuers must save her on Rescue 911. Sometimes those we least expect to step forward in a crisis are the ones who emerge as heroes. That was never more true than on the afternoon of September 7th, 1992, as Laura Martinez gathered with family and friends for a Labor Day barbecue in a remote area near Loveland, Colorado. God, this is really... <laughs> We have some property west of town, and we had planned a hot dog roast. Hi, lady. We had started putting out the food, the fire was going. It was just real festive. Everybody was having a great time. Everybody was real relaxed and just having a lot of fun. Laura's mother, Oma Thompson, was helping with the cooking. Lady is a lovable, gentle dog, but she's very, very lazy. She likes to be in the house. She doesn't like to go outside unless she absolutely has to or unless we just push her out. Because she is overweight, we always make her walk with us. Well, as soon as we got down to the fire pit, she was out. She'd already done her exercise for the day, and she would be sleeping until it was time to leave. Oma's other daughter, Sandra, was also at the picnic. Audrey decided she needed to use the bathroom. Well, once she said she had to go, then everybody had to go. Come on, guys, I'll take you. Bob took David, and he went across the creek to where the boys go to the bathroom. Then Oma took Rachel and Audrey by the hand and led them up to where we go. We started off to the latrine area, and Teresa was kind of diddy bopping ahead of us. As she rounded the trees, I heard a rattle, and I stopped. Sandra, hurry! There's a snake up here! Please, Sandra, help me! I am terrified of snakes. I don't even like to look at them. But I knew in my mind that something had to happen, and it had to happen quickly. Teresa was in danger. <laughs> When I saw a lady, she gave me the break that I needed. She attracted the snake's attention. At that point, I could instruct Teresa which way to go. And I was just screaming for her to come back, and she wouldn't. She stayed, though, and, and fought the snakes until she felt that everybody was out of danger. Finally, she looked at me and kind of looked around, and then she came to me. She just kind of laid down and just kind of plopped. It wasn't a normal come and lay by my side reaction. Where the snakes were, and I said to him, can you see them? And he said, yeah. I said, my God, there's five of them up here. Right, right up right there here. by her. Oma and her son-in-law, Bob Martinez, found multiple snake bites on Lady. Here's another one right here. Here's another I was one right sitting there here. thinking, why Lady? You know, of all dogs, why Lady? But she'd done the ultimate sacrifice herself for, for my, my little girl, Teresa. If faced with danger, what would you do? Would you react in time? See ordinary citizens become heroes. Rescue 911 continues next on Discovery Health Channel.
a friend of mine's dog was killed by a rattlesnake. So it was probably good I was driving because at least I had something to keep my mind off Lady. By the time Laura got Lady to Colorado State University's veterinary teaching hospital, more than an hour had passed since she was bitten. Here we go. She was admitted under the care of veterinarian Lisa Metterman. Snake bites can be very dangerous, and depending on the type of snake, some snakes even more dangerous than others. The rattlesnakes that we have around here can be very dangerous. This is Lady. And she's been bitten by a couple rattlesnakes. The owners had told me what she had done for the children, and that was one of the first things I told everybody as we started working on her, is what she had done for the family and for the children, and everybody was quite impressed. And I don't know necessarily that she got special treatment, but um, I think everybody wished the best for her. Okay. We have a seat here. Let me tell you a little bit about how Lady's doing. When I talked to the family about Lady's condition, I was very upfront with them. I think it's um, very important to tell people what they can expect, and we did discuss the possibility that lady might not make it. Now, there are different ways to treat this, and one way is with anti-venin. It's like an antidote. They gave me the option of whether I wanted to use the anti-venin. I said, do what you have to do. She saved my little girl's life. She took the snake bite for her. I just started crying then because she was a hero, but they didn't know if she's going to live or die. Hi, guys. But I was really sad and emotional, knowing I'd have to come home and tell the kids. So we went home, and the kids were crying, and I was crying. And they asked me if Lady was alive, and I said she was, but I go, Lady might die. And she'll be okay. I hugged Teresa, and she started crying, and I started crying with her, and I said, Honey, if Lady dies, you can remember she protected you from dying. The next morning, about 9.30, I couldn't wait anymore. I called the hospital. I told them who I was. And they said, oh, she's doing great. She's responding really well. That she was really sore, very bruised, but she would recuperate a lot better at home with everybody that she loved around her. So I was so excited. Bob and I were just ecstatic. I just... Oh, I just started crying all over again. I was so happy. Good girl. Heel? Good girl. We came to pick up Lady. Good. And she was just so happy to see us. It was like, I thought you guys left me. Recently, Lady took part in a very special ceremony. Hi, Lady. We are here today to ask... During the blessing of the animals for the Feast of St. Francis of Assisi, the um, minister, he invited lady and all the family up to the altar and um, she just sat there as proud as punch. Didn't make any move whatsoever. She just 